the craziest couples ever. What's going on, guys? Shaq Reacts here once again. And let's show some wall clips of the craziest couples I can find. Like with my favorite clip will be at the end, guys. So make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically, we have this bride on her wedding day, literally cheating on her man. Thankfully, the surveillance was able to capture everything, and everything was obviously shown to the groom. I mean, even if she didn't want to cheat, you couldn't wait till after or a better place. He just had to do it on the spot. She looked at that good. Most cheating spouses wait till they need to scratch that seven-year itch. But some infidelity can occur even before the wedding cake has been cut. What's this? A bride and groom who just can't wait for their honeymoon to begin? Now that's the bride, all right. But the guy she's with is the best man. This shocking footage was captured by a surveillance camera on the grounds of a hotel during a wedding reception. Ah, uh, now comes the groom looking for his lovely bride. Here comes the bride. And there goes the best man. And the groom? He doesn't suspect a thing. This is one bride who definitely shouldn't be wearing white. And this next one, this clip is absolutely brutal. No, I don't agree with anything she's doing. Basically, we have this woman over here with kids, I guess, marrying this older man. Now, apparently, she's saying she is in love. But obviously, we know why she married him. It's all for money. But if you marry a man for money and the things he's going to give you, you're no different than a street worker to me. I want you around all the time. Could I be your best friend? If you promise you will be mine. <laughs> And obviously the clip does get worse. Now this, I guess, is her first girl's trip. Obviously paid by her man. Do I think they're going to last forever? No, he's obviously going to die first. And she's probably going to take everything. Or they're probably just going to get a divorce. And she's still going to take half of everything. Oh my God. Can y'all believe Charles actually let me out the house to go on a girl's trip to Houston? Man, they said if I had a time last night was a place, it would definitely be Houston. So we started the trip with a small stop at Moonshiners. We went to Kiss later on. And then Spice to turn up, turn up. And this next one, this man's an absolute simp i'm not sure what he wants his woman to do in the house it's not wrong for you to ask your woman to do some things for you or are you doing things for her like you guys are both helping each other out but he thinks it as it's wrong if she even lifts a finger like i said we're not trying to control women here but just ask them things to just do their part there's nothing wrong with that i'm not expecting for food to be on the table when i get home after mm. a hard day's work but you have no kids and she just spent the whole day just that's fine bro what are you talking about man why because i put myself in a position for her not to worry. <laughs> you're going home and you're living with her. Mm -hmm. And a week has gone by and these Monday to Friday, there's no groceries there. She didn't go do your groceries. You're okay with that too? All right, then let's plan for the weekend. Let's both go together. And this next one is absolutely horrible. Basically, this man goes on to explain his story about how he caught his girl. Now, guys, the entire time he was actually cracking jokes and he was laughing. Goes to show this probably happened a long time ago and he's totally over it. And I guess he's just happy to laugh about it at this point. At what point did you realize that your relationship wasn't going to work out? When I walked in and saw her sucking a dick at the car. Uh, we shared our location each other. Then. When you checked her location, did it say uh, she is currently at a place sucking dick? you knew yeah no 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 she was at the place that's like so you went there you saw her you know getting down on dude was she going crazy or no i'm playing but uh <laughs> wait so what happened <laughs> after I, I called her out she came outside i didn't let her say shit i spit on her face and i left damn so you was the only person that didn't get spit on because she was <laughs> And this next one, I guess this guy was just absolutely brainwashed by what he sees in front of him. And let me just say, I guess it worked out. I hope this woman is single and her man isn't watching her do this. No, distract him! Distract him! Come on, there he is! What and this is the next one, I guess these women are roasting this man for just having too high expectations, for having basic standards. Apparently, they're saying that we care too much about the past, and they're roasting men for, I guess, judging women about their body count. I'm sorry, but if you're ripping us about us thinking about you in your past, we could say the same thing about you ripping men about their future. You're not going to settle down with a man who's not going to offer you anything in the future, who's poor and broke. Just like women care about a man's future, we care about your past. Thing, if I can do a 
little psychoanalysis that might be preventing someone like you from attaining your dream girl is you have this block where you think so much about body count, so much about her being a high value woman. So you're saying I'm going in with what? Too much little, expectations? I don't even think no, it's expectations. I think it's judgment. Like a little like too much judgment instead of taking into account all these other things. You're focused on these like minuscule things and you're minuscule. I mean, body you're just not. You're not taking. You're just body count. It's like so physical. Like, you're not. And this next one absolutely sucks. Basically, this man's proposing to this woman, and I guess she was not ready for it. Now, guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of the man's fault for not reading the signs and understanding that his girl was not ready for marriage. It doesn't seem like she was trying to break his heart in any kind of way, she just was not ready. But you should have read the signs sooner. <laughs> And this next one is absolutely hilarious. This can definitely work both ways with men and women. Okay, so I'm currently at the beach and I just saw a guy who is so my type. I have to show you guys look. Oh my god. In this next one, I didn't like this clip at all, but people in the comments were saying, hey, if he's fine with it, that means it's perfectly fine to do, which I disagree with. It's still very degenerate to have your woman do these kind of things, even though you're helping her out with it. Obviously, she does OnlyFans, guys. It doesn't make it any more okay or right just because your man is doing it with you. I mean, how many more scenes and how much more money is offered to you until you're ready to do it with another man? I'm a sex worker, so today my boyfriend and I will be filming some spicy content for my onion flans, if you get my drift. <laughs> what? So my boyfriend Z, he likes to make the occasional appearance in my videos and to answer some of the frequently asked questions that we get. What's it like having a boyfriend and doing onion flans and how does he feel about he it? He is absolutely fine with it and to be honest we have a lot of fun doing it. Now I don't make content with anyone else other than him and he just makes the occasional appearance so he will be appearing in the video that we uh, shot today. Now if you guys don't agree with me that money can't influence a decision to do with another man, here is a perfect example of a couple who compromise. If you guys haven't heard about them, I'd suggest looking it up you guys ever have a dude be in your scenes no no we got a one-way thing going here Now, obviously, after all the money is gained and all the rich and fame is, is brought to them, they start to regret their decision because they start to realize that life isn't just about that. Here's a perfect example of Lana Rhodes literally regretting her decision after everything she's done and still says it's so stupid it makes her want to vomit. It's just a simple pattern that keeps cycling over and over again that sadly someone will just realize later in the life when it's too late. Very much a fool in most of my decisions. Even with all the success that you've had, you're an incredible mother now, businesswoman, you're working with Playboy, you still look back on that and you still feel ashamed? Yeah, I don't like the fact that people can see me naked on the internet or can see those things happening to me. I think that it's gross. How? That is crazy that you can, can build this whole life and you still feel ashamed. I mean, I'm I'm proud of myself and what I've done, and and I wouldn't take anything back. However, it's not like I lo I like the idea that people can view that of me. I personally, those videos make me want to throw up. And this next we have a woman over here saying she's 30 and single and still has no idea where she wants to be. Now, guys, the best thing for you is just to be in a relationship. Why do you want to waste more of your youth taking a bigger chance each day, just ruining your life for the future? I'm 27 years old and it's like, I don't know where I'm going to end up. Who's going to be my husband? Like, where am I going to be in five years from now? Have you guys ever cried? For no reason. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. For no damn reason. What, what was what was going on in your life at the time <laughs> that just tears just started falling? You're like, what the f is wrong with me right now? You know, sometimes you cry about things like you look at your age and sometimes I cry like I've cried like now on the flip side when a man is actually 30 and single there's nothing wrong with that compared to women the reason is a woman's valuable time in her life is when she's younger when she's 20 25 that's literally the best moments of her life now however for a man it's sadly not that way the best times and moments for a man is when he's past 30 because finally he's financially stable finally can get whatever he wants and finally he's not broke anymore like he used to be when you're 34 when you're 35 and you're still like yeah i don't know what i want i'm like dude you're like old the amount of times that I've seen this come up on my For You page where girls cannot fathom the idea of why a man in his mid-30s might possibly be afraid of commitment even when he's in his mid-30s. 
it blows my mind because you think it's a pretty simple explanation. But it really goes to show the ignorance of how the average girl doesn't really understand the average male experience in his early 20s. So I'm going to help you guys understand. So hopefully you guys can stop asking this question and shaming guys who want to be single in their mid-30s just because you're single in your 30s. So the average guy 18 through like 26 is going to be broke and pretty much not really have that much access to meeting women. Typically, once a man starts being a little bit more financially stable is when he's going to have the most access to women because he's able to go out on dates more. He's able to just go out more in general to meet more women. So normally a man becomes financially stable around their late 20s to mid 30s. And a lot of men did not get to experience a lot of fun things in their early 20s like women do. And this next guy brings up a very valuable point. Now, this works for men and women. For anybody who just likes playing mind games, if you find it like disgusting or an ick for somebody to respond quick to you, I'm sorry, but you got something wrong with you. I am way too grown to be looking at someone's response and be like, yeah, let me wait a few minutes to respond if I want to talk to him, right? I will respond right away when I see your message, your snap, whatever, right? If I want to talk to you. Therefore... If they can leave me on delivered, if anyone just leaves me on delivered when I'm trying to talk to them, I'm just, I'm going to start ghosting people respectfully. We're just, I'm, we're too grown for this. And this next was clap had no idea how to react. And to be honest, I don't blame him. I know exactly who you are. Lord have mercy. We must stay focused, brother. In this next one, I don't understand what the point of this prank was. It was still kind of foul. I guess this man decided to act rude to the waitress, but thankfully she responded in such a nice way that I guess it worked out for her. Good morning, how you Hi, doing? good, how are you? Awesome, is this one today? Yep, just me. All right, awesome. I know you said you didn't want a water, but it's Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, um, quick question. Yeah, what's up? Um, where, where's the food? I think I'm checking it for you. I'm, I'm sorry, um, it's just like, this is, this is like the worst service I've ever had. I'm so sorry. I yeah. Um, I called to check on your food and I think my manager to come over here and talk to you. Like, yeah, because I got to report you or something because it's pretty bad. Okay, I'm so sorry. Is it, was it something specific? Yeah, just like the way that you looked at me and just like the overall service is just terrible. Okay, I am Yeah, very because sorry like I've that. never had this happen before like anywhere. Okay, I'm very, very sorry about that and I can go ahead and get you a new server and I can get my manager to come over here and talk to you. I'm totally kidding. I just wanted to give you a hard time. <laughs> and this next one, I guess this guy just has ultimate riz. And this next one, this guy just decides to show this women different body types. Now, guys, it doesn't matter if this actually works on women or not. You guys should aim for the body type that's more healthy and more fit for you. And that's always usually the best case, not fat. So don't ever just work out for a woman. Work out for yourself as well. And usually it's always the best way to be fit. I want you to rate these bodies from one to ten. I have a personal type, so yeah. maybe a two. I just took a photo of that guy on the street back there. <laughs> don't say that. Like, Sorry. A eight or a nine. At some point, it doesn't matter how much it is. Like, right, these body types. Oh, that's too much. Wouldn't go Not for really. That? I would say maybe a six or a seven. And from the worst clip on the list, guys, we have this woman over here who decides to reject this marriage proposal because she starts regretting her life that might happen, which is basically just marriage. Like, do you think you're never gonna have to do this again in your life? I don't get it. This, this TikTok makes no sense. My Thank you guys so much for watching this guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.